Harry's acrid response echoed as Megan abruptly snatched the microphone from his grasp, setting the stage for her self-centered speech. Meghan Markle, finally making her appearance this Tuesday, seemingly oblivious to the fact that the Invictus Games had kicked off last Saturday. To no one's surprise, her speech centered entirely around her favorite subject, Meghan Markle herself. It was a grand showcase of her former actress persona, her regal status as a princess and a duchess, with little mention of the Invictus Games and the dedicated servicemen and women it celebrated. Once again, she managed to overshadow Prince Harry. One might wonder why he continues to tolerate this behavior. Andrew Pierce, commenting in the Daily Mail, wished Prince Harry the best of luck with the Invictus Games and expressed hope for their success as a noble cause. Nevertheless, he couldn't help but notice that Meghan did nothing to promote her husband or the games. Last Tuesday, Meghan delivered her first address to the crowded audience at Invictus Games 2023, while Harry watched from the background. Predictably, the speech revolved around her, her, and her, leaving Harry visibly uncomfortable. Even as he was still healing, his wife seized the limelight by taking the microphone for her speech. Body language expert Darren Stanton noted Harry's nervous gestures, such as playing with his ring finger, suggesting he sought reassurance. The Invictus Games clearly held great significance for him, especially on his birthday. Meghan's sudden appearance on stage was a surprise, and she swiftly commandeered the spotlight from both Prince Harry and the veterans. This wasn't the first time she had pulled such a stunt. She acted as if everyone had been eagerly waiting for her presence, oblivious to the reality. In her speech, which had been removed from the program days ago, Meghan referenced herself, Harry, and their children a total of 21 times. Her monologues seemed to stretch on endlessly. Notably, when she mentioned putting the kids to bed, Harry subtly rolled his eyes, and later on, he made a gesture to reclaim the microphone from Meghan. Her behavior raised questions about why she consistently made everything about herself, as if the attendees were hanging on her every word. It's essential to note that this impromptu speech was unauthorized, indicating that Invictus did not schedule or ask her to take the stage. Meghan essentially stole the spotlight. Her speech was riddled with extravagant claims and attempts to portray herself as a loving mother and ordinary housewife. Moreover, fan-shared footage showed Meghan dashing off the pitch towards fans, exclaiming, the Sussex squad's here, before shaking hands and posing for photos. This left some wondering if the focus was on the Invictus participants or the ailing veterans. Sources reported that thousands of tickets were distributed to schools, yet Meghan did not seem particularly fond of children. Later, Harry and Meghan posed with Annika Hutzler of Team USA, an athlete competing in the 100 and 200-meter races. Meghan also chatted with Australian competitor Laura Rayner, who sat nearby, discussing a beanie hat. Megan found it amusing that Laura was wearing the beanie and inquired if she was feeling cold, to which Laura replied that she hailed from Australia and was accustomed to being called Oz. 